Hi folks, this is my second update of my Trek Zector 2. Um, thanks for all the feedback and the comments on the first post. So hopefully this will give you a little bit more knowledge and information if uh, you're buying or considering one of these things. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I use it on a daily, uh, daily commute, day-to-day -day basis. So my, my commute is just three miles each way. Um, I live in Massachusetts, so there's like a lot of hills, a lot of really cracked, crappy, potholed roads. Uh, I live on the third floor of a building, so I'm, you know, I store it up in my apartment. I usually bring it down uh, in the morning and then ride it to work. The, the gearing has been good. Uh, it hasn't left me wanting for any more gears or anything like that. Um, I seem to use the whole uh, the whole range now that uh, I've gotten a little bit uh, used to it, gotten a little power from it. And the the Alpha Aluminum Gold architecture, or the frame I should say, is fantastic. I'm sad to say I've already got some, some scrapes and dings on it, because uh, I definitely do use it. I've probably put about 100 miles on it in the last month, including a 22 or 23 mile ride. But you know, one of the things that I was talking about before was the carbon fiber fork. I'm pretty happy with this one, the aluminum one, and I'm, I'm definitely glad that I stayed away from the shocks. I kind of feel like it's the difference between a, like a Cadillac and a Corvette. If you if you like a, or need a plush ride, go ahead and get the shocks. Um, but if you like that sportier ride, if you like to feel, you know, the surfacing change, surfaces change below you, the gravel, the dirt, um, the cracks in the pavement and whatnot, your your traction. You know, I think that the standard solid fork is the way to go. Um, these tires and these wheels have been great. You know, I really haven't hit anything where I've been left worrying about if I popped something, if I dented something. Um, the brakes have been fantastic. Um, I haven't really used it in any wet weather or anything like that just yet. So still need to try that out. Um, one thing that I would point out that I, I was not really aware of prior to getting this bike is you see these are not quick release um it's just another commuter um feature that they have because you know if you're living in a city like i do and uh you know just some crackhead comes by and wants to you know grab your wheel and sell it for 10 bucks they're not gonna be able to do that now obviously a a bike thief that has you know his allen wrenches and he's ready to go it's not going to slow him down too much but, um, you know, that is, that is a useful feature. Um, one thing that I have noticed on this, and maybe it's just the way that I've set it up because I built this thing myself. Uh, you know, I got it shipped to me and I, I put it together. Um, the, the gears, when I get into the more resistant gears, it does give me a little bit of a chain sound or maybe like a little bit of a raking. You guys have probably all heard it before, but I think that's something that will probably go away once I get this uh set up by a professional i'll probably you know now that i've ridden it for about a for a month put some miles on it i'll probably just get it uh a little bit tweaked but yeah basically like when i go over you know all the way here and then to this setting right here um those last you know three or four um it will give me some a little bit of noise on um in terms of some of the people were talking about the the standover height now I'm about six feet tall and I will tell you that, you know, this, this crossbar, this top bar here, you know, my, my junk definitely lays on it when I'm standing over it. So that is something to be looking out for. But, um, in terms of a riding position and stuff, it's been great. You know, I generate enough power to put my seat up a little bit further up. I can stand on my toes and it doesn't make a difference, um, in terms of, you know, stopping or starting or anything like that. Uh, it, it's a little weird at first for sure but it, it's fine now. In terms of the seat, um, you know, it's something I'm definitely going to replace. Uh, the, the, the commenters and the people that have written reviews on this thing are pretty much right. You know, it definitely does make your butt hurt. Uh, so, I mean, it's something that I, I think I will change out. You can see on the back here, uh, I've got a, um, got a holder for my kryptonite lock. I've got the Topeak uh, commuter rack and the Topeak MTX quick release. Uh, it's, it's great. I mean, it slides in, slides out, locks in place. It's big enough to hold 
my work clothes all rolled up and a few extra things it's a little tight at times but i mean you know realistically i'm on a bike you know i'm not gonna be able to carry the world with me the one thing that i did want to point out is you know my my hands and my palms don't really hurt that much anymore now i don't know if it's because of these grips obviously they're like the ergonomic grips maybe my hands would have just gotten used to the other ones but the one thing that has been an absolute game changer has been being able to hold it like this uh, especially when climbing hills and stuff it i mean for 35 36 bucks i would recommend that i would recommend that over the seat honestly um, if you hadn't ridden in a while like me um, you don't know what you're missing out so get some get some nice grips these ergons are 35 36 bucks and uh, you will absolutely love them so yeah this is my zector 2 bicycle um, still like it uh, you know I think everything's been working pretty smoothly everything's been going pretty well um, so yeah I mean hopefully that gives you a little bit of extra extra information hope you enjoyed it and uh, good luck in your shopping